Hey guys, what's going on? It's Acme Pax and I welcome each and every one of you back to a new video. So today we are going to be talking about something that I've been a little vocal about on the channel and that's going to be Prism Football versus Prism Basketball. So if you guys have been following the last few weeks, I was very annoyed that uh, Prism Basketball came out the way that it was and that's because it came out so so good. I mean, it's awesome. There's numbered cards, there's parallels, uh, um, autographs, mem cards, and Prism has none of that. It's almost, or Prism Football has none of that. It's almost baffling to me that the same product, the same design can come out so different for two different sports. So I kind of wanted to call that out a little, a little bit. So uh, football, as we know, has the two blaster exclusive laser prisms and the one silver prism uh, per box on average. Now, what is different about these than the basketball is these are two guaranteed rookie laser prisms, which is which is about the only thing that this has going for it. There are no case hits, no chance for autographs. The only thing you're looking for are the silvers, and then the red and blues are going to be short print, and then you have the guaranteed lasers. But other than that, there is nothing in here uh, of value. And then... Prism Basketball was a whole different story. And again, I do not understand how a company can release two similar products, yet so different at the same time. So out of here, you find the uh, Blaster Exclusive Ice Prisms. And I believe that is three per box, but they are not guaranteed to be rookies. So that's a little bit different. But look at this checklist. So I've talked about it before. You have the silver, the greens, the NBA 75th anniversary parallel, which is the blue uh, diamond uh, border parallel. And then you have the ices, which are guaranteed in the box, and the purple waves, which are very cool. But then you also have green pulsers numbered to 25, rookie penmanship uh, in prisms and silver, and then just penmanship base and silver. So you can get autographs out of here. Then you also have sensational swatch swatches, which they can be numbered to 10 and they can be chunky patches as well as game worn memorabilia, which you do not see anymore. So that's awesome to see in a retail set. Everything you get out of Prism Football as far as a memorabilia card is going to be something that is uh, not from any specific game or event. You know, the cards that we love in the hobby right now. <laughs> um, but other than that, I mean, the closest thing to a case hit in here is going to be the uh, 75th logo uh, silver version. Uh, there are no specific case hits, but those are a little bit tougher to pull. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about how uh, how different these two products are, even though they are the same, and why couldn't they have been the same? And uh, is it because football is more popular than basketball or vice versa? I, I really don't know the answer, but I just... I, I wanted to get that off my chest and let you guys know and then also do a small rip of these two just to kind of show you and it's important to note that whatever comes out of these boxes does not change my mind on the product as a whole. I've ripped enough of both to know exactly uh, what could come out of here and yeah, let's get into it. I'll show you guys if you guys haven't seen these before what you can expect out of these as a normal blaster. So we'll start with football and then move into basketball. You're gonna get the same number of cards in each box, uh, four cards per pack, six packs per box. And then each box normally guarantees a silver and um, one or two non-base cards as well as the uh, guaranteed parallels. So if you guys like this kind of content where I just talk a little bit about my thoughts on the hobby and what boxes I like to open and what uh, I found has the best value in retail right now. Uh, be sure to let me know down in the comments and drop a like on the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. And we have memberships now too, if you would like to support that way. So we have Lesnar, John Taylor, LaVisca Chenault, and hey, we got the guy who's in the back. Awesome. That is actually very, very good. And this one is incredibly centered. So. Again, important to note that even though that's an awesome card and I'm very excited to pull that, that does not reflect my overall thoughts on Prism uh, football because I thought that it was, to be honest, 
overprinted garbage this year. I actually love the design. I thought they did a great job with that, but I don't know. Aside from that, Panini did not do well. And then we got Rashad Evans, or Rashawn Evans. Okay. So this should be our other rookie then, I believe. Detroit. Oh no, it's not. Jamie Collins. Okay, so maybe you get... God, I, I haven't opened one of these boxes in a few weeks. I guess it's two per box then. Okay, here we go. Bradley Chubb, Michael Thomas, Atkins, and Dolphins. Jalen Waddle? No, Javon Holland. Always Javon Holland. Or uh, Javon Walker. But awesome. Cool. So, two more packs left. Should see a silver. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about when we open up. That is really... I think we got loaded with extra disco parallels in this... Or uh, laser parallels. That's a... Uh, so, this was a... Uh, this was an error box. Titans. It's going to be Julio Jones. Oh, dropped it. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so this was an error box. We should see a silver in here, though. Which we do. And it's going to be CJ Henderson. For Jacksonville. Okay. And then break Tua. Okay. So, again... That's kind of what you can expect for a typical blaster, except that was an error box and we got too many lasers. But, I mean, maybe one good card out of there, which is Jamar Chase. Again, very good player. Love him. But, yeah, just a very... Normally, they're actually worse than that, in my opinion. <laughs> Prism football was very tough. And Prism basketball was a lot more forgiving, in my opinion. But let's take a look at these now. And... I will show you exactly how much more color you get out of here than Prism Football. Okay. Move all these out of the way. Okay. So again, exact number of, or same number of cards in here. Looks like we got cracked ice and a silver in here. And it's going to be uh, Jeremy Grant and uh, Laguntas Dort. Okay. So first pack. Not the best, but, I mean, again, we're going to see so much color out of here. Already a green in here. Davian Mitchell. That's a good one, actually. And then Anas Contour and rookie uh, Nemes Queta. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so you get greens out of here. It looks like we have a blue. Okay, we got one of the 75th parallels in here, as well as a silver something. Okay, Brandon Clark. And then we're going to have Kyle Kuzma. <laughs> we got a print line in the upper left and a unbelievably offset. <laughs> oh, whatever, whatever. Okay, and then an emergent uh, Garuba. That is a silver. Very cool. So, uh, look at that. You're getting silver inserts. You do not get silver inserts in uh, the Prism football. You have the chance for those 75th parallels, which is awesome. Chance for autographs. And we do have a swatch here. Tracy McGrady. Let's see what we got. Robin Lopez. Uh, Chris Common. Ooh, this is, see, look. Right here. Enclosed is game worn or used material is guaranteed by Panini. See? There we go. Game worn or used. Awesome. You just don't see it anymore. And nothing in, pr in prison football is game worn or used. And then we do have instant impact Bones Highland. That's a really, really cool card. Awesome. So even though we're not like hitting on the top players, you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about with Prison Basketball just being far above. Oh, Instant Impact, uh, Josh Giddy. Hey, awesome. So this one was actually a silver on the right, if you guys can see that, but cool. 
for Bones Highland. You can get silver inserts, autographs. I mean, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse at this point. <laughs> and this will probably just be a cracked ice. Okay, Jimmy Butler, Vucevic, and then Danny Green. All right, so very, very average blaster for uh, prison basketball. But, I mean, the inserts can be silver. This is game-worn memorabilia, which is awesome. Again, you don't see that uh, anymore. And then, I mean, <laughs> even though it's very off-center, a different type of parallel as well as the cracked ices, the silver... Um, yeah, just an overall much better product from Prism, uh, Prism Basketball as opposed to football. So let me know what you guys think down in the uh, comments. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are. And remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.